Greetings and welcome everyone to episode 32 of our Let's Play series of the SevTech Mod Pack. And in today's episode, we're going to be prepping, I think, in preparation for going into the Between Lands. I really want to get in there um, now that we've accomplished pretty much all that we can without doing a lot of uh, extra work for um, Astral Sorcery because we need to go to the Between Lands and then we need to go into Twilight Forest to be able to finish this up. We got a lot of nice stuff built up, and we're doing really, really good. I mean, I could still add some more crystals here. Or, um, the aquamarines that still need to be melted down. But we're doing quite good in terms of having quite a bit of liquid starlight, and we've maxed out several gems, and we're prepping and ready to go. And one of the things I want to do is, I want to make that shiny new pickaxe we talked about, and then make a sword. Because I'm going to need some stuff in the between lands to take with me. And these are some of the things that I would like to have so I want to see how good a um, pickaxe can be with stats like this look at those those are insane I maxed them out except for the purity of course and then we just gotta smack it with our wand here and we will have this awesome awesome pickaxe shouldn't take much in terms of energy it probably won't even up oh, yeah see it barely dipped and it was right back up there so let's do it again. Let's go and let's make that sword that we want to make. And we'll compare these two here in just a second. Boom. Let's make that sword. I want to see how good this one looks. Oh my goodness. Size, purity, cutting. Yeah, that's going to be super fast. Let's see how much damage this sucker does. 14 attack damage. That's just insane. That's a whole new level for us. So we're going to take it and put it right there. And now, if you want to look at the other one and compare the two, I mean, it looks like it's the same, right? I mean, the size is significantly bigger, the purity is better, and the cut is better. But it says mining speed is 20, but that's because of the way it is. Now, or that's because of the way it was made. Now, it should be modified based on the cutting percent. So if we go test this out... Should be that much faster, and our damage on this sword is just gonna be insane. Now, I use the other ones because it doesn't really matter. 800 for a size is just fine. I can cut it and reshape it, it's no big deal. It should easily last for as, for as long as we need. And so, we got those two new swords, or those two new items, ready to go in preparation here. So, I'm sure we're a killing machine. So, let's go in here to the between lands and let me mine out a little bit. I wanna see how it works underneath. So it'll be fun. Works in preparation for our journey. So let's see here. Nice and fast. Oh man, that's nice and fast. Now if you want to compare that to what we were using before, we'll switch out here. See that? That's 6.5 speed. This is 20. Super fast. Super good. Okay, there we go. That's good enough, I think. We did what we need. Oh, and you also, if you look at the surface of it, right, it'll reflect back. I'll show you. It'll look better when we get out to the other place. But it'll whatever's over in that direction. It's quite a unique effect. See how I can see the the melter over there and the the liquid hopper. It's pretty neat. I think that's a, a, a definitely a unique effect that I that I actually enjoy quite quite a lot. So let's put up some of this stuff, and we need to start prepping because some of the things I want to do is. I actually want to make a stone lumber um, lumber axe, and so for that, we're going to need to make another one of these tables. Um, and I have no wood on me. Let's go get some wood. I know I made some. Just don't know where it's at. So pretty much nothing in this world can take us out. We're going to need to grab some logs here. We finally are starting to get somewhere here. I think this one. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, we got plenty. Good. So what we're going to do is we'll make one of these crafting tables and then of course make one of these. But then I think we combine this, if I remember correctly, to make a tool station. Yep. And then we combine that with some other goody goods and we'll get what we need here. So let's see. We're going to need to combine it with seared stone, I think. I don't think we can use the porcelain. Yep. So let's go here. Hey, you notice I put my little marketeer in here by my stairs. I'm working on building a basement. It's another project that I'm currently working towards. But it'll be a good thing. It'll be a good thing. Okay, so we were going to grab one of these patterns. 
There we go. Combine these two together. Get four blocks of tin. I was just going to use tin. Might as well. It isn't going to hurt anything to use tin. And then we need to see about this seared stone. Because I don't know if I have any of that. Not really. I have the porcelain, but not the seared. So we're going to have to make some of this stuff, which I think is sand, clay, and gravel. It'll be super easy. So we got gravel, we got sand, and let's go grab some clay from right in here. We'll be good to go. Get everything we need. I really need to learn the new placement of all this stuff. Eventually I want to get storage drawers up and running, but I just haven't yet. There's so much other exciting stuff going on. I want to get the basement done before I start the storage drawers, you know. Everything is a little bit of a work in progress. Now, from what I read is this pretty much has to be correct, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so sand, clay, gravel. Sand, clay, gravel. There we go. That should do the trick, even though the, the recipe indicator is not going. But it should still do it. There it goes. Sure did. So we'll go in here and we'll pull these out. We only need a couple of them. Oh, no, wait, we're going to need more than that, aren't we? Oh yeah, because it's four per. That's the tricky part. Okay. More sand, more gravel. Not a problem. And definitely more clay. We got plenty of the items needed for this. So let's just make up a few here. Because we're going to need 3 times 4 is 12. We already just made 6. So we just need to just double what we did, pretty much. It's not a problem. Should be easy enough. As long as my math holds true. Let's go drop these in there. The other one shouldn't be done yet. Oh, they already are. So it was sand, gravel, clay, I think. I don't really remember. Let's see here. Grindstone, sand, clay, gravel. That still worked. Good enough. They should give us the 12 we need in no time. Then we'll just take those back and cook those up. So I came out here, I don't remember when, but like four piranhas came after me. It was pretty hilarious. I was out here checking on something and just totally <laughs> almost got wiped out by those silly things. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we are done with our 12 pieces here. We gotta take those back. We'll get those cooked up pretty quick. Can we cook them up in anything? Let's see here. You, you betcha. We can cook them in both of them. So we're gonna go do that real quick. Shouldn't take long at all. We'll halvesy them. Half in there. And half in there. So I moved them. Since we lost the other ones, I had to make new ones. But I moved them and set them here on the side. So they're kind of out of the way, but kind of in a unique place at the same time. I like it. I like it a lot. It all will work out. So he's still got five to go. Oh yeah, but they're cooking up. So with that, we're going to need to make some plates. Might as well look into that real quick. So we're going to need to make some more of these. Ooh, yeah. Siding and bark. I had forgotten about that. Let's go over here. And siding and bark. I know I have both of them. So we're going to grab some siding first. We don't need very much. Let's just grab 12. And I know we have some of that, those bark pieces. They're probably over here. We're running everywhere. Let's try to get all this stuff together. Let's see. Wood, wood, wood. Nope. There. There we go. Okay, so was it, it was the siding, wasn't it? Yep. And we got enough there. So let's put them in here. I think we can do it from here. Sure can. Now we have more than enough of what we need for this. But we basically need to make the pieces for this lumber axe. So it's going to require this one, I think. And then it requires the tough one. 
Probably the binding. Probably the plate. I'm just assuming that those are the ones it's gonna need. Those are pretty standard. So we'll go with that. And we're gonna have to cast them as well. Which we can do without a problem here. Oh, let's go get our blocks here. They're, sh they're already done. There you go. There we go. Let's block them up. Like so. And with our tin, we can put this in here, this across here, there and there. We now have a tool forge. Bam! Okay, so we can replace the current one we have. Wait, we need to use an axe. We don't have an axe. Let's have to use our hand. And we'll place that there. Take this one, put it in there. So now we have the ability to make all of them. So this one requires, yep, I was right. So it requires the binding, the heavy binding, the heavy or the tough tool rod, the axe head, and the plate. So we're going to need to make one of each of those. And we use our handy dandy little thing here to make our templates here that we'll use to cook it up. So we'll go with this one. We're going to make this mostly out of bronze um, due to the fact that it's much better that way. Okay, so there we go. Tough tool rod. We may, we may end up just keeping the tool rod as this, so I probably won't make a cast for it. There's no sense wasting a cast like that. So, with that in mind, we're going to need six pieces of gold. Let's melt these pieces of gold up first. Let's turn off our thing, otherwise we'll have a issue here. Nothing left in there. Plenty of fire in there. Good to go. We'll do three at a time. Guess. And we'll put our little casts in place here. And then we're going to need some bronze. I think it's eight. It's going to be eight for the head alone. And then I'm probably going to make this out of it as well. And probably make the binding out of something. I'm not sure. Let's look up bindings here. Okay, so what do we have access to right now that would be good? Ecological is good. I think that would also allow me to repair it with wood. But I'm not sure. We're going to have to test that out. And you got stone, which would be... Um, cheap but low durability. I mean, a little bit higher still. Flint's a little bit better, but it gives a crude. Ooh, cactus. We may need to find some cactus, but I don't know where to go to get cactus right now. Let's see. The aqua. We haven't found that one yet. Squeaky. Don't got that one yet. Of course, iron has magnetic. That could be nice. I wouldn't really mind repairing with iron too much. So let's see. Iron wouldn't be so bad because we don't have access to the slimies. Copper is 100 to its durability. Bronze is definitely good, but it adds dense. Okay. We don't have access to that one yet. Or the Dread Plague. Or that one. Or that one. Okay, so I'm thinking either we're going to go with... We're probably going to go with iron. Because I don't have access to the cactus. Even though the cactus really wouldn't benefit me right now. So, let's see here. Bone would be better, but it adds fractured. I'm not quite sure what fractured means, but we're going to go with iron. And we can repair it with whatever we need. Okay, so, six ingots in place. Let's start doing our casting here. Okay, so we're going to grab that one. Place that. Oh, we need to hold on to that. And bam, it's casted. Final one, there we go. So now we're gonna need some bronze, we're gonna need some iron. Three pieces of iron. And then the bronze ones, it's gonna be eight. And what is this other one? Eight and eight, so that's gonna be 16 pieces of bronze that we need to melt up. Not a problem though. Just throw them up in there. They should melt fairly quickly, especially due to the the increased temperature that we have available here. So what we'll do here is we're going to put down this plate here. We'll put the iron in after because once we finish this we'll do up the iron one here. But for now we're going to do the axe head and the plate. Shouldn't be too difficult. So we got three already. We almost have six. We're going to have this done in no time. Oh man, they are going fast. So working on this lumber axe is going to be quite helpful here. 
And then I'm thinking we should probably take an extra backpack, but I'm not sure what kind to use, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Okay, so we'll drop our casting in there. And let this fill up. Because I know we have access to iron backpacks now, but I don't know if they're better than this particular backpack we have from improved backpacks. Because this is still a pretty doggone good backpack that is uh, already upgraded. Oh, and we can upgrade it again. Very nice. Well, I had to have to check, so let's see. Improved backpacks here. Let's see. PRO. There we go. We do have access to the iron and gold upgrades, so we could probably get some more space out of this backpack. We might as well go for it, especially since it only costs three there and three there. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll make another one of those. Oh, we are, this is already ready to go. So let's see here. We just made the plate, and now we're going to make that piece. We can put that in there. Our iron's going to start melting as soon as this is done. So this is going to give us a decent durability and a decent mining speed. I mean, we won't want to use it too much to attack, and it's mostly just for trees anyway, so it's no big deal. Okay, so there we go. We got that one in place. Grab that. Put our binding in there. Wait for our iron to be done, because it should be done in a second here. Oh wow, it's fast. It's already done. And then we'll put our tool together and be good to go. And this will actually be our first tinkerer's tool. We haven't made a tinkerer's tool yet. And there we go. So let's go over here and we will just click on this. Then we just shift click everything in there and it works. Okay, so it's gonna have ecological, dense, and magnetic. It has, let's see, a thousand durability. That's pretty doggone good. That's a lot of logs. An uh, attack speed of 7.3, doesn't really matter. Does a decent damage if I wanted to use it for such. And 2.3 eight mining speed. That's fine. We will grab that. Uh, let's take a quick nap here. And there we go. So let's go test this out. We got some bigger trees over here that we haven't taken down yet. Let's see how well this actually does. Hmm. Interesting. It kind of does an awkward three by three. I think. I'm not entirely sure what it chooses to to do, because that was, was kind of odd there. Weird. It looks almost like it's limiting itself to a 3x3. Three three, which is okay. I mean, I get it. This is meant to be progressive. But still, it will help us out quite a bit in the between lands. Definitely help us out in the between lands. It's giving me lots of sticks. It's a lot of sticks. Let me grab some dirt here. We'll work our way up here and finish this sucker off. Never want to leave a tree hanging. There we go. We'll eventually be moving these one at a time. It's pretty effective, too. Gotta be careful with that one. That silly shovel, it'll destroy an area. Okay, so we took it all down. Good enough. And we got 62 logs out of it. Not bad, not bad at all. 92 saplings and a practically a stack of sticks. Very nice. Used up only a fraction of its durability. It says it did 228, which it must count the, um, the sticks as well. That's fine. It's got ecological. It'll repair. And from there, what I think we should do is, um, let me put up some of this stuff. Clear out some space here. Put you, no, you don't go there. I gotta figure out where everything goes sometimes. There we go. You go there. Apples go there. Saplings go there. There we go. Okay, and then we'll put our sticks away. We're only taking a few with us into the next area. Plus, we won't take any torches. Because they don't work as well there. They don't work as well there. 
put our gears up because we don't really need them. We won't really need our lumbering axe right now. What we want to do is focus on making this um, backpack real quick. And we're going to need some leather to make this silly backpack. That's not an issue though. We can make some real quick. We'll just take some of this hide and I'll take care of that. So we'll need... Yeah, I think we have everything we're going to need. We have resin already at the other place. Yep. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys this nifty little thing that I haven't tested yet. I figured it'd be good. So I'm just going to test it out and see what it does. Or see how it does it, I guess, is a better way to put it. And I made it wrong. I may have to look it up. I want to try out this scythe. There's a scythe that looks pretty neat. And I'm definitely, definitely want to check it out. It's of these three. I can't really... I mean, this one's... Um, it shows the same recipe, but for some reason it's not the same one. I need to click on this. And so I have all this... Oh, I need to make a hoe. Got it. Okay, so let me make a hoe real quick. It's not a stone at the top, it's a hoe. So there we go. And we got it. So we have this thing here. I want to show how this thing works before we get too much into making anything else. Because um, I think it should work pretty good. Let's see. Holy smokes, look at that. I wonder if I can do it fast. Oh. <laughs> This is incredible. This is incredible. This thing is clearing everything out. This is going to make expanding so much faster. Wow. I still have to get, figure out how to get rid of these, though. I really don't like them. They take forever to clear. But look at this. This is incredibly fast. Look at this. This is like a super lawnmower. It's incredible. Wow. Okay, so that was a successful test. That was an understatement. Wow. Yeah, so, okay, enough playing with that. We're going to get back to work. Definitely worth the time, but got things to do. Things to do. Now I need to eat. Okay, so let's go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Throw those down. Where else do we pick up? A whole bunch of other flowers. They'll be fine. Okay, so let's keep going here. And also, it doesn't give me the twine or the the plant fiber, which is good. So put that in there. And that was a pretty nice addition. I'm glad I tried that out. I was worried that it wouldn't be as good as I thought it would be, but man, it really did clear it. Okay, so let's make this backpack. We're gonna make it from scratch here. So it's gonna require some, like I said, some of the leather. So I'm gonna go make some leather here. The basic process really hasn't changed since the last time we made leather, which is good. We're just going to go and we'll ma I'll make 36 of them, which isn't a problem. Put our flint work blade back. And so I'm going to go make these over there in the water hut and then I will be back. I mean the water lodge. So I got the leather. I got 33 pieces of leather now. Now I just got to put, get some string be able to make the cordage here. Not too big of a deal. There we go. Now we have our single piece of cordage that we need. We might as well make the rest though, honestly. We don't use those strips for anything else, so. There we go. So let's go in here and we'll drop off at least one of those and both of those there. Okay, so then from there I don't think we need string anymore, but just in case, we'll hold on to it. We have... Put those up, because... We are needing these here. So let's go into our backpack here. We need to make the actual backpack itself. So for that, we're going to need a rock. Where did I put those? There they are. Got one. That's pretty easy. There we go, now we'll have the backpack, because we have the cordage. Okay, so now to upgrade the backpack, you need to put these um, upgrades on it. So we'll start with a blank upgrade. 
And we'll make the wooden upgrade. Which requires logs. And I just put up logs. There is some humor in that. Let's grab these ones here. And we'll use them to make this here. Oh, we need to be in here. That's right. So we're going to put that one on there. So that's the first upgrade. So then we're going to need to make another upgrade to use for the the stone upgrade. Which we don't have any stone on us, do we? Good thing we pre-cooked some. And we're going to need more than that, I think. So let's see here. To make the stone upgrade requires this upgrade. But then we got to remake this upgrade because we'll have to still put it on the bag. So we're going to basically need one of every upgrade all the way on up. So let's grab six iron. Let's see here. There we go. And three gold. And we can actually color this backpack as well if we'd like. We might as well. Let's make it let's make a white backpack. They never get dirty, right? That is so true. White always gets dirty. What can I say? Okay, so let's start by taking our backpack here, putting it with our white dye, and we have a white backpack. Let's give it the wooden upgrade. Let's give it the stone upgrade. And then let's make all over again, started from scratch. We'll make a blank. Then we'll make a wooden. Then we'll make a stone. Then we'll make an iron. And then we'll make a gold. Might as well go for the gold first. And then just restart <laughs> to make the iron one that we need here. Because you can't go straight to it. You have to give it each tier along the way. Which is not a big deal. Okay, so there we go. Now it's an iron backpack. And now it's a gold backpack. Let's see how big it is. So let's first get a comparison here. We're four. We're one, two, three, four, five, six. It added two more rows to it. Very nice. This will be a good backpack to have while we're in there. Because I pretty much don't plan to take this backpack at all. Unless there's some emergency. And we need it, but I don't plan to take it. But I will take you out of there. And you, because we're going to need to make some totems here. But everything else is pretty much going to stay behind here. Oh, the lumbering axe. We'll need that. Okay. So we're going to put this backpack up. Right there, because we're not going to need it for now. And then we're going to fill this one up with a few things, like you, you, you. And we'll put you down there. We need to put up our leather here and our string. We need a basic place for our aquamarines and stuff. Because we're not going to be doing astral sorcery from there. Let's see here. We'll take in it. We're not going to be taking in food. I hear that's bad too. That's real bad. So let's see. Leather there. String there. Okay, so we're not going to need our black cords that we always carry with us. In fact, there's a place for that. Somewhere. There we go. There are other black quartz. And then we have our boots that we're going to take with us. But we're also going to take a pair of slime boots. And I have a pair somewhere. They might have been in this bag. Double check. They were not. Hmm. Gotta remember where I put them. Oh, I'm so slow now. Took those boots off. But it's for a good reason. It's for good, good reason. Hmm. Anyway, I can make another pair of slime boots. With ease here. We got enough slime. From this. I think we just need one more piece of blood. Coagulated blood. We'll be able to make the red ones. And those will be fine. We just need... What do we need? Animals. Oh, there's the boots right there. Bam. Okay, good enough. That was quick and easy. Wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. So these boots will help save me in the coming battle here. Because we're going to have to fight something. So we're also going to need a helmet. Might as well make a helmet. So let's take about half of this. And let's make us a new helmet. I think we cook these up. That's how we use them. Yep. Just cook them up. 
put half in there. Yeah, I might as well put them all in there. No biggie. Okay. We are going to be going to the altar place, which I have one on the other side of the swamp. Let's see, let's bring up the map here. If you look at our current location here, wherever, where's that lapis? Okay, so there's one along the river over here somewhere, if I remember correctly. So I just have to go this direction. I think it'll get me there. Man, I really want to wear my fast boots. I'll probably wear my fast boots till I get there. And we're gonna need these as soon as we get there. Because we need to make a couple totems upon entry. And then our sword is just gonna wreck them. So this is gonna work out. So I think we have almost everything we need prepped to start the adventure to the between lands. Let me make sure. Probably should remake the pants and the shirt, which isn't a big deal. Oh yeah, we already got seven. We're doing good, let's make that helmet real quick. Now let's check our armor. I think we have spare armor pieces. Oh, we have spare bronze, but we don't have spare uh, black quartz. We're pretty much gonna need to remake a whole set of black quartz by the looks of it. So let's grab this other amount here, because I don't think you can repair what we have here. Let me double check that. But I don't think you can repair it. Nope. You cannot repair it. I'm going to have to make new. So we'll take these two off and we'll, we'll set them as spares because I'm sure I can combine them. Man, I have so much stuff. There's the wagon. That I was missing for so long. <laughs> There's somewhat of a humor in that. We've got 16 pieces left. We can make another piece here real quick. Now we got the boots. We need the chest piece and the leggings to go with our setup here. And we're gonna fight these guys. We're gonna do the best we can to take them down. It shouldn't be difficult. I mean, we're, I won't say we're overpowered, but we're definitely ready. We're definitely ready. Okay, there we go. Our slime boots are gonna be important. We won't be going in there on this round. Um, it's just a matter of fighting the portal. 14, 13, there's... there's a, I think we can make the pants now. I think it's 6 for the pants. Oh no, it's perfectly 7. Ha! Ah, so when this finishes, well, when this gets 8, we'll have enough for the, the chest piece. I think it'll all work out at that point. I do have a Black Horse pickaxe that I don't use. It just wasn't as effective as I thought it would be. But, um, yeah, we're doing pretty doggone good for today. You see my new house? I didn't really show that off too much, did I? But this is the basic structure for the new house. We're slowly expanding, whoops, and growing in ages, so we're slowly moving into a more medieval style from our primitive homestead. But the inside still looks nice. Get this all decked out and it'll look pretty good. Let's see here, we're at five. We really need... Three more. We got a nice new backpack, which is pretty good. Give us plenty of space. And we'll be good to go. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this food when we leave, though, because, man, we're gonna have to figure out food when we get in there. It's gonna be a little bit harsher to survive. But we'll make it happen. One more piece. Come on. Just one more. And there we go. We have enough for our chest piece now. Let's go here and make it. A lot of things in the Between Lands decay, and it is, includes my health. So, it can be rough. So, I have my suit of armor, I have my weapon, I even have my ability to make totems. So what I'm going to do now is, I am going to be heading out there. And you guys are going to be at the beginning of the adventure on the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.